Bloxburg. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. A quick shout out to all the people in front of me right now. Oxazip, Toxic, Finley, Scott, Winterlover. Thank you guys so much for being a part of the start of the video. These guys were all hanging out on the server that we are going to be doing today's tour in. But before we go ahead and begin the tour, guys, make sure you guys show some love to Toxic Vapor right here, guys. This guy right here for giving me the opportunity to actually tour this amazing mansion this estate show them some love down in the comment sections below and also smash that freaking like button let's go for eight likes on today's video guys i know you guys are going to be able to hit it you guys have been smashing the support over the past couple of videos if you guys are also watching this video and you are brand new to the channel make sure you guys go ahead and hit that subscribe button we upload daily roblox content here today so anyways guys let's go ahead and begin this tour there is so much to show you guys i've probably seen only 20 percent of this entire house but guys this is the bayview estate made by toxic vapor okay so before we even begin the tour guys i'm literally going to just pan out a little bit so you guys can kind of see the entire front side of the house and i'm just gonna lay a couple of facts for you guys okay first things first this house right here worth two and a half million dollars guys toxic has literally added every single item that is even possible on Bloxburg into this massive mansion and it's worth 2.5 million dollars it is actually in freaking sane honestly guys probably one of the most expensive houses that are actually available here on Bloxburg to give you guys a little bit of a perspective of how massive this house is it actually took over 15 minutes for the house to actually even load onto the server the actual plot that the house is in guys is maxed out on items that you could actually place in one plot like Bloxburg will literally not let him place any more items into the house like I didn't even know that that was freaking possible but anyways let's go ahead and begin this tour once again guys quick shout outs to all these people I did ask them to get blocked for the tour so then we are not crowded by a bunch of people trying to tour around the house I do apologize but I, I appreciate you guys being here you know what I'm saying but anyways let's go ahead and begin the tour check out this amazing courtyard you've got yourself a waterfall as well guys do you know what that is right there I'm pretty sure he's using some type of curtain in order to make it look like an actual waterfall like there's a waterfall in his courtyard guys amazing you guys can already start seeing the interior of the house well designed well decorated and guys for the grand entrance to this entire place check out this design like oh my gosh the architecture just looks amazing like it's nothing I've ever seen personally before here on Bloxburg at all probably one of the craziest mansions we are ever going going to see here guys you guys will never see anything better than this a quick story on toxic as well guys i was asking him earlier right before we started the video how long he spent building this actual build you guys are never gonna believe how long this guy spent building this actual mansion two years this guy has been slowly designing this mansion for two years here on Bloxburg. and you know what let's go ahead and begin first things first here's the courtyard amazing beautiful view of everything and guys he's got a, even a private garage that just blocks people off that is so funny <laughs> and then over here to the right we've got ourselves the garage obviously check it out guys the garage even has like a little workshop where he has you know a bunch of tools bunch of books a bunch of barrels to make it look like an actual garage he's actually got a little bit of a motorcycle section here which it actually just looks like it's actually going through a repair process amazingly done we've got two beautiful cars over here with another little station with all the paint cans everything just just massively decorated guys you will not see one inch of this place without any decorations and actually on that note guys toxic actually mentioned this to me right before we actually enter this massive house guys toxic told me that some rooms are gonna look empty because Bloxburg literally will not load the items in because of how many decorations are in this massive house that's how crazy his entire build is guys but anyways let's go ahead and begin we've got this massive room right here this is the grand entrance to the entire location as you guys can see decorations on decorations on decorations everything 
perfectly symmetrical on both sides. You've got paintings left, paintings right. This is absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and hit up the right room over here. Guys, once again, I've never toured this, so everything is going to be a surprise to me as well. You've got a little bit of a foyer area here with a bunch of, uh, you know, little library books and stuff. Guys, you see this golden egg right here? I think this item is worth a couple thousand Robux in order to actually place this into the game. So I, that's a thousand Robux or something like that right there, guys. Pretty freaking expensive in itself. Very nice music room here. Just very nice, chill, relax. Check out the formal dining room, guys. Perfectly decorated, perfectly organized. Just everything looks like what you would expect there to be in an actual mansion of this size. Wow, dude. Oh my gosh. Even the fireplace, guys. Do you know what that is right there? This is actually a painting that they used a fireplace picture instead of the actual fireplace to make it look like, you know, just a fireplace section in a fancy house. Oh my gosh. Once again, you've got this little aquarium feature going on over here. I really love this aquarium feature, dude. Guys, I'm pretty sure I'm probably going to end up getting lost in this house. So if I do seem lost, it's probably because I am. There's just so many hallways, so many different things over here, guys. Once again, let me go ahead and hit the boost really quickly before we continue this tour. We've got ourselves a custom bowling room. Once again, very, very well done. Very well made. And I think it actually looks slightly better than the actual bowling room that we toured in the past. Anyways, a nice little custom bowling alley area over here with a custom bar to go alongside with it. Very, very beautiful looking. You got yourself a masseuse stand right here, a bunch over here and over here. Once again, guys, this is just like a nice little chill area. I'm not actually sure what this is though. Like, what do you guys think this room is? It just reminds me of like some sort of spa room in my, you know, in my opinion, but I have no idea what that is, dude. Now from that little spa room, guys, we've actually got a little bit of a car collection over here where his golden cars are basically being laid out for everybody to actually look at. These are obviously his most prized possession cars here. He's never driving these around. They're put back in display for a reason. They've probably got some historic value to them. All right, guys, let's go ahead and head back to the main entrance of this entire mansion room. Guys, we have so many more rooms to actually go through. It is insane. So from the actual main entrance to the mansion, guys, if we go ahead and hit up the left side over here, we have ourselves a nice little uh, entranceway over here into the, I don't even know what this is. We've got our very first bathroom over here, fully decorated out, everything perfectly symmetrical, guys. Like, oh, the, I love the fact that everything is just symmetrical. It just honestly just completes every single room for me. You've got yourself a nice little secret. What the heck? There's like a secret little doorway behind the, the actual thing here. What? Wait, what the? Guys, there's a secret bathroom entrance. Look right here. Check this out. Ready? Here's the bathroom. It looks like there's nothing here. And then right over here, he opens up a door that he made look like a wall. Like that literally looks like a wall from, a, from back, right? But if you walk up to it, there's a doorway that leads into like a secret spy section. What's over here, dude? What the heck? Can I open these? These are actually windows that lead out into the main courtyard right there. What the heck? That's so cool. And then over here, you've got yourself a secret art gallery room, guys. Oh my gosh, which leads out into the courtyard. So is this really a secret or is this just something that you kind of do for fun? I'm not really quite sure. That's so freaking cool. That is insane how they're like, they, they made this the freaking random door right here. I would not even expect that if it wasn't open, dude. Oh my gosh. Over here, guys, you've got yourself your main living room, main living room, fully furnished, fully decked out. I just love the color scheme he has with every single one of these rooms, guys. They're just well thought out. Like it looks like an actual like interior decorator came inside here and just decorated his entire location out. Another phenomenal looking room done over here. And guys, check this out. I don't actually know what this is but they've made is this uh, th this has to be one of the new items that i've not checked out yet on blocksburg but there's like a couch that i'm laying down on but is this a new item it has to be a new item that they just recently added to blocksburg right i've never seen this couch before what the heck that's so freaking cool dude all right over here we've got ourselves our main big library so this is like the library slash office you've obviously got your main desk computer over here and then a bunch of library computers over here a bunch of research you can do a lot of research and all that fun stuff over 
over here guys just please take a quick second every single one of these rooms that i look in just look at the color aesthetics look at how everything is placed how many decorations there are there is literally decorations everywhere not just one plant pot guys but several on every single one of these rooms the amount of detail that they put into this the amount of time that was put into all of these builds absolutely astounding guys we're gonna go ahead and follow toxic vapor over here as he leads us into another section of the house guys this has only been the first floor we've not even checked out the second floor the backyard all of that crazy stuff over here uh we've got ourselves a nice little small kitchen and obviously this kitchen is probably where everyone's just going to be chilling for the most part and you've got your massive main kitchen right over here guys oh my gosh i don't know what it is you guys see this purple jukebox right here it's sending off just a slight purple vibe into the entire room which just absolutely changes the, like just like the vibe of the room i don't know if you guys are seeing the same thing i am but it just looks like a slight haze of purple is just all over this room and it just makes it look really really freaking nice into the backyard we go guys as you guys can see here there is not even a full backyard yet this is like a full-on patio area which leads into an indoor pool all right so check this out guys once again we are gonna just give you guys a little bit of a of an overview of where we are at the house currently there's the entrance right over there we walk through the main entrance way straight in through the back through this freaking left side over here back through the right side out the back patio doors turn left into a massive indoor freaking pool just check out the amount of detail oh my gosh he's got the curtains on the actual waterfall feature again making it look like a just <laughs> out of this world just like a nice oasis like an indoor pool oasis everything perfectly furnished you've got tvs you've got sun tan station thingies over here everything you could possibly need and not only that you go back into this back section over here guys and once again a bathroom and even two showers just like you guys would see in any other normal pool indoor pool even a hotel pool you guys would see the same thing over and over again this is insane and then once again right over here guys you actually have a jacuzzi which acts as an actual bar itself as well look at that check it out guys the amount of detail absolutely amazing now into the main backyard itself this is the first outdoor feature we can actually see the ceiling i'm gonna zoom out for you guys real quickly just to show you guys the mass expanse of his entire location here this is his backyard guys like do you see how crazy this is to me there's a waterfall feature in the back right there to the left you've got a maze you've got an outdoor pool you've got a guest house you've got an atrium for the actual pool like oh my gosh the amount of detail absolutely amazing guys outdoor bar where you can buy a whole bunch of drinks and all of that crazy stuff guys we are just over 10 minutes probably into this video and we are not even close to finishing i don't even want to get into this maze because i already know i'm probably going to get lost but they have a custom maze just an amazingly done location guys even has its own maze which i do not really want to get into just because i don't want to get into that guys let's just let's just not get into the maze i'll probably get lost over here on the left side we actually have ourselves what looks to be a guest house now i'm not entirely sure whoa i love you guys see this architecture right here i'm not sure how many of you guys are appreciating this architecture right over here but oh my gosh just everything is just done so well guys let's enter the guest house now check it out guys once again fully furnished again now this is what toxic was saying what i mentioned at the start of the video guys you guys see how this is all empty right here some of these shelves are all empty the only reason why this house is only half built is because Bloxburg will literally not allow him to place any more items into his plot. Like he's maxed out his items on absolutely everything, which is why he can't add like a couch here or whatever, like a TV, a bunch of plants. He literally just cannot add any more items into his house just because of how many items he already has everywhere else. It's absolutely insane guys oh my gosh guys the tour is not yet over we have not even checked out the second floor yet that was the backyard we did the first floor let's go ahead and head back into the main room itself right now and head on to the second floor now with the second floor guys i'm gonna assume that a lot of these are going to be bedrooms and little amazing chill living room areas and stuff like that which is probably what's going to happen obviously because you have such a massive amount of space to use so over here up 
the first floor steps you've got your elevator which obviously leads to the other floors nice little lounge chill area over here into one of the main ma i wouldn't call this the master bedroom i'd probably call this just a normal bedroom but obviously once again fully decked out you've got a computer you've got a nice bed with four posters you've got an amazing tv like what is there left to see guys you got yourself a trophy room what the heck a trophy room into this actual build itself amazing over here you've got yourself a balcony which actually overlooks that bottom section we were at earlier today the server is a little bit laggy right now guys just because of the amount of items that are actually trying to be loaded into this house right now this is absolutely nuts over here the top floor of the library that we showed earlier and then we've even got a bunch of just random staircases guys more bedrooms over here lots of detail in every single one of these these rooms and then right here is the third floor i do believe guys so once again artwork in every single corner of the house guys like you will not see one empty wall throughout this entire area you've got different artwork from every single thing you've got ships battleships a bunch of sea naval themes here everything is kind of that blue texture and then once again over here you've got yourself a workout room what the, the things just keep on coming up guys i'm just so freaking surprised this is an absolute absolutely nutty crazy house once again i don't even need to say it anymore guys decorations everywhere nothing in the room is blank there's always something somewhere something is always serving a purpose it is absolutely insane over here guys you've got yourself uh, you know your prized galleries found in an excavation in early 2004 this fruit ball was dated back to 1538 a.d it originally belonged to king henry the what is that the eighth what the heck guys custom artwork check out the detail guys all of these plaques all of these painting every single one of them custom as if they're an actual artifact in you know something look, look, look at this haunted llama do not open listen in the guinness book of world records this llama doll holds the record as being the most haunted doll in the world like actually every single one of these items guys has something to do with history all custom coded all custom pictures that is absolutely insane how you could put that much effort into this area oh my gosh all right guys let's go back to the main entrance of the second floor i'm actually quite lost here i think we're on the third floor right now another living room balcony area over here which actually overlooks the entire backyard you've got a massive freaking third floor here guys it looks like this room is boarded off oh my gosh i actually just love what the heck i don't even want to walk into there guys does this room not look like it's haunted what the heck it's making me not want to open the room but then you take a peek inside it's got like this evil ominous like feeling to it even with the painting what i'm not going in there dude we're not going in there guys there's probably a haunted room or something where somebody died in we don't even want to check that out right now i don't even want to figure out what that is guys once again another amazing looking area over here overlooking this little area which is on the second Second floor actually so if this is the second floor guys once again remember if we take a right instead of a left this time this is the second floor main living room i guess another fantastically done fireplace once again everything decked out to the fullest with decorations you've got flowers books remotes mugs newspapers just all the decorations literally just complete the entire room guys one of the most amazing houses i've ever seen when it comes to quality of decorations it is absolutely in freaking sane once again guys two and a half million dollars in order to build this entire house guys and i think i've actually went ahead and seen almost everything last master bedroom over here guys fully decorated out you've got a master bed with the posters on the side and then a huge master bathroom fully decked out with a jacuzzi with views to every single room to the outside guys once again a phenomenal freaking house i'm gonna zoom out right here for you guys let's go ahead and end the video right over here in front of everybody else guys an amazing mansion guys please show toxic vapor some love down in the comment section below probably one of the best houses we will ever tour here on blocksburg the amount of details just once again so amazing once again a quick shout out to eager hiroshi to toxic to finley scott play 
Blaze, Lizard, all of these guys all just hanging out in the front waiting for me to finish the tour. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. We will see you guys again for another Roblox video. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. My name is D Field. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.